Hello everyone, welcome back to another Alabrave YouTube session. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. In this session, we are going to look at the relationship between French rhythms and pitch. The pitch will be represented by changes in note names. And without going into so many theories, let us put the theory into practice. We start with the first line, I will move slowly, you will look for the lyrics, but I will play the tune. If you have your recorder, you may follow so that you may learn how to connect the two. Let's do this. Line one. Second part of it. As we change the note, you realize the pitch is changing, but the duration in which the note is played remains the same for line one, and that means the French rhythm ta 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 only represents how long the note is played. Let's try line two. That's only the change in pitch necessitated by the note names. However, the length remains the same. Line 3. We start with high D. You should have noticed there's a difference in how we play high D, high E, high D, high C, then B. G. Ta te ta te ta ta. Ta te. Two forms of the French rhythm representing ta. Then lastly. If we do it continuously, we start slow. following up slowly by slowly as you learn and in any case you've forgotten how to position your fingers for the notes please visit the link below click on it and it will lead you to our lesson where we had learning how to position our fingers on the discount recorder thank you for watching see you next time bye bye